Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. Today's tip was a submission from somebody in the Litigation Support Guru community who received a request from an attorney, had to resolve it, come up with a solution, and then she decided to share that with us so I could share it with you. So the scenario she had was there was a bunch of PDF files. Some of them were up to 4,000 pages, and the attorneys wanted to search across the PDF files for a bunch of search terms highlight the terms, and then extract every page that had a highlighted term on it. So this is how she accomplished it. I edited the action sequence a little bit, and I'll tell you why in a second. But I have two large files here. Between the two of them, there are 2,000 pages. And this is the action sequence that we're going to import into Adobe. So I'm using Adobe Acrobat 11. We're going to go to Tools. Action Wizard section, Manage Actions, then we're going to import the action. It's warning you there's JavaScript in the action. All right, so here's our new action. We're going to edit it. So the first step is it's going to ask you which files you want to run it against. The it's actually using a redaction feature, which is search and remove text, but it's actually not going to remove any text. It's going to mark the search terms and then convert the mark into highlight. And then eventually down here, it'll extract the pages that have highlights. So the things that I edited was the search and remove text. The action originally wanted to prompt you so this was checked off for the search terms at the beginning of each document. And I wanted it to run through without stopping. And the other change I made is under Save Settings, I am, instead of overwriting the original file with the highlighted version, I'm saving it as a separate file with a suffix of highlighted. So if you want to come in here and change this suffix, you can. OK, so we're going to go to Search and Remove Text and specify settings. And here's where we can add our search terms that we want to run against these two documents. Now, we can import here from a text file with a list of search terms, but I only have two search terms. So I'm going to add them here. And I want to search whole words only. OK, and that's the only change I need to make before I get started. So we're going to save that. We're going to close this. Then we're going to come down here to the Actions section and choose that action. It's asking us where the files are. We want to choose these two files. All right, so now we have our two files. We're going to click Start. Now it's running through. The first file, which you can see, is 1,700 pages. And I have not indexed this file, so it's going to go a little bit slower than it could if I'd indexed it. But I don't think it takes too long. OK, so it's almost finished with the first file. And you can see it checked off steps one and two. So now it's prompting me for this file where I want to save the resulting report and whether or not I want the extracted pages to be added to the end of that report or in a separate file. It's going to put all the extracted pages for this file in its own PDF. So I'm just going to add it to the end of the summary file and I'm going to save it to the same place. OK, so it opened the summary file from the first file. And now it's running through doing the process on the second file. OK, so you can see one of the highlights in front of us. All right, and here's the summary file for the, it's adding the update to this existing summary file that already existed, OK? It's telling you how many pages it extracted, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to click over here. 
Uh, it's checked off both files and it's checked off all the steps. So the action is actually done. Let me go ahead and close that second file. Okay, so here's my summary of port. We have 48 pages. We have a summary page in the beginning. We have bookmarks for each file. We have a list of each file and how many pages were extracted. So if you had a whole bunch of files, that would be nice. And then we have show extracted pages that just goes to the bookmarks. And then you can click on the bookmarks. And then you can just click through the various pages. Close the bookmark file, and then I'm going to save. I'm going to close and save the summary. Now, here's my summary, and here's my original files and my highlighted files. Okay, I hope I can put this tip to good use.